morning children hope you people are doing well welcome to today's session children today we are going to read a very interesting story a hero from unit 6 a hero is taken from malgudi days written by r k narayan it is a story about a fifth class boy whose father wanted him to be brave before we start with the lesson let us have a look at the glossary crossly a little angrily curl up to sit or lie in a position with your arms and legs close to your body lad a boy or a young man laughing stock someone or something which seems stupid or silly porch a covered structure in front of the entrance to a building or a veranda scorpion a small creature similar to an insect which lives in hot dry areas of the world and has a long body and a curved tail with a poisonous sting scout one who is trained in doing acts of public service scout to look at someone or something with a very annoyed expression snore to breathe in a very noisy way while you are sleeping tumble to fall quickly and without control coward a person who is too eager to avoid danger difficulty or pain fly up climb up jungle path away through the jungle now let us start a story now children you can see in the picture swami's father was sitting under the hall lamp and was reading the newspaper he read an article from the newspaper loudly and asked swami to listen to it the newspaper gave a detailed account of the boy's fight with the tiger it also described how the boy flew up a tree where he stayed half a day at last some people came that way and killed the tiger after reading it through father looked at swami and asked his opinion swami did not believe the story he thought that the papers would publish lies sometimes he said that the person should have been a grown up man but not a boy swami's father asked him to prove his bravery by sleeping alone in his office room instead of beside his grandmother in the porch swami had always slept beside his granny in the porch the two always had their beds side by side any change in this arrangement kept him trembling and awake all night he hoped at first that father was only joking he tried to change the topic but father insisted that he should sleep alone in the office room swami rose quietly from his place and tiptoed to his bed in the porch granny was sitting in her bed and asked him whether he wants to hear a story swami made no reply he made wild gestures he threw himself on the bed and pulled the blanket over his face granny asked him not to cover his face swami uncovered his face and requested him not to talk or disturb him then he turned over and curled under the blanket he started snoring but soon found his blanket pulled away father was standing over him swami's father commanded him to get up he looked like a ghost in the semi darkness of the porch swami stood and groaned as if in sleep but swami's father was very stern he stood near his bed and asked him to get up repeatedly poor swami reluctantly had to get up his father rolled up his bed took it under his arm and asked swami to follow him swami looked at granny 
hesitated for a moment and then followed his father into the office room so children i hope you people have understood the story today we will stop here and continue in a next session it's time for you to take down the homework can you say why swami's father read the news to his son did swami believe the story give reason for your answer thank you